rented out this arch trellis before with snap peas and the chickens got in before I had fenced it off and picked every single pea out of here. So we fenced it in, it's not an issue anymore. I'm replanting everything that they ate. I'm using both of these from Sonny Johnny's Seeds. They're two different varieties. They're both new snap peas for them this year. Really happy that I took the time to actually do this today. This is something that's been on my list for a couple of, well, probably like two weeks. But we have had such an insane amount of rain. It's something that I was really hoping that I could get out and do in between rainstorms. But it just wasn't. We have had a really really busy a couple of weeks and then uh, last week I had a kid come home from school with some belly stuff and then the belly stuff made its way through some of the other kids so it just it was a busy week it was kind of a week where a lot of kids just needed mom so all other things just kind of stopped and we were just kind of coasting through the week knowing that eventually everything would come back to normal. None of the kids were super, super sick. It was nothing like that. Um, it definitely wasn't the flu or anything. It was just kind of one of those things where your belly hurts a little bit and you just kind of want to snuggle with mom and you want to snuggle with dad and you want to watch some movies and watch your favorite cartoons and just kind of ride it out. So that's what we did. And when you have four kids, it takes some time to make its way through. Exactly what we did. After we planted things out in the raised beds, I wanted to go ahead and move into the garden where I have already planted out uh, pretty much everything else. I still have a couple things I need to get into the ground. But my husband, myself, and my two youngest kids out and kind of got all of our actual plants in. And these are our trilogy green beans that we just planted. And then um, next to those, finishing off that row, I wanted to put in some normal green beans that we also buy those seeds in bulk. I only wanted to do a little bit of our trilogy green beans because we've never grown them before. I think they'll be fun. I think the kids will like them. All of my kids are green bean eaters. Green beans are probably one of my favorite vegetables. So we grow a lot of them. Plus we use them to make dilly beans, which is a family favorite, not just my household, but um, extended family. They make absolutely wonderful Christmas gifts, birthday gifts. I know a ton of people who love dilly beans. The rest of this row is going to be our bulk green beans. I will probably end up doing two, possibly three plantings of green beans throughout the summer because we want a lot of green beans. Green beans is one thing last year that I got almost nothing on. The deer kept hopping our fence and destroying our green beans, our snap peas. So this year I'm going kind of crazy and putting in a ton. That way we can get a really good harvest because we missed them so much last year. Plus, there's nothing better than snacking on green beans out of the garden while you're working on things and whatever. So, here we are. Those are the two things I really wanted to get in the ground. Did all these in the ground for that rainstorm. And then I headed inside because baby was still napping and my four-year-old was having some quiet time. This is, he'll tell you, this is his favorite part of the day typically because baby's down he can kind of do exactly what he wants he doesn't have to worry about like the baby coming in and messing up all of his monster trucks or all of his action figures so he can set up and get all this thing spread out so that's what he was doing while i was going ahead and getting all of these things taken care of i wanted to get through these dishes really quickly that way when it was time to go ahead and make dinner I had a clean slate, everything was ready to go. So I wanted to get these taken care of. And then there were two other things I was really hoping to get done, which was to keep rotating my laundry. I was a little behind on that. Then I also really wanted to make a batch of brown sugar. I really wanted to get a big bulk thing of that done. I've been out of it for some time and it's been making things very difficult for me in the kitchen. And then uh, if I had enough time, I wanted to make a batch of chocolate chip cookies because I haven't had any brown sugar in a while was waiting to go to Sam's Club to get some bulk sugar because I was on the bottom of the barrel of my sugar and we just haven't had cookies. It was time to make a batch of cookies and get our snack jars at least somewhat filled up heading into another week here. I wanna make a really quick batch of brown sugar. I have my sugar here that I have my husband set aside in our bulk Sam's Club pickup order or whatever. 
Um, he filled my brown sugar container full of sugar and I want to make all this into brown sugar. I've been going to do a lot of baking recently, have no brown sugar and then I don't bake. So it is time. I also have this big bulk thing of molasses I got from my local Amish store. I got this for $10.95. Very excited about this. So all you have to do is for every one cup of sugar, you are using one tablespoon of molasses. Very simple, very easy. I'm using my KitchenAid for this today. I'm just gonna go ahead and get my mixing attachment on it and we're gonna get this up. After that, I need to check my laundry and I kind of wanna make a really quick batch of chocolate chip cookies for the kids for when they get off the bus because by the time we get done with all this it should be about that time as i'm pulling the cookies out of the oven and like i said i haven't done a lot of baking recently so it would be really fun to have some fresh really nice chocolate chip cookies and then i can use those through the rest of the week to put in the kids lunches or weekend snacks or whatever i'm also going to get my measuring cup here and i'm just going to measure out my sugar here and make a really big batch of brown sugar. I've never done this in bulk before. So I have five cups in my KitchenAid right now. I'm gonna get five cups uh, or five tablespoons of molasses in here, get this mixing, and then I'm gonna pour the rest of this into just a separate Tupperware container or a separate mixing bowl. And we'll finish making the rest of this into brown sugar. And then once this tub is empty, as the brown sugar is done out of my mixer, I'll put it back into the brown sugar container. And then hopefully, if the baby naps long enough, we'll make a batch of chocolate chip cookies. I know my husband has a lot of other things. He also wants to get done today when he gets home from work. It's kind of been go, go, go between the orchard and the garden, getting everything in the ground, getting everything situated. So it kind of feels like we're just running around from project to project. I started making my own brown sugar a couple of months ago and I've only done it a couple times like I mentioned, but so far I am absolutely loving it. I do think it's saving me money. Uh, recently I went to Sam's Club and I did not have to buy any brown sugar and it's getting to the point now where we're using so much brown sugar even the Sam's Club like seven pounds just is not quite enough for us. I'm making my own coffee creamer that I like to use the brown sugar in. My husband loves to smoke fish so it takes a lot of brown sugar. We like to use brown sugar because it's cheaper than honey and we go through a lot of honey as well already. Plus, I put brown sugar um, on fish when I bake it, so we go through quite a lot of it. Plus, that just our regular baking and things, cookies, muffins, all those things. So, this has been a really good game changer. And that's really how easy it is to make brown sugar. Very simple. So, I emptied out my container here. And just for reference, that took about a minute in the mixer. So it doesn't take a whole lot of time. Obviously, the bigger the batch you do, the longer it's gonna take. I've only done this before in like one cup or two cup batches. So that takes, you know, about half the time, about 30 seconds. So this was eight cups. I used my big girl brain and made sure that I just dumped it in a measuring cup instead of in a mixing bowl where I would have to remeasure it. So I'm gonna guesstimate once again about eight tablespoons of molasses I'd rather go light and have to add a little bit extra but if you add a little bit too much molasses you can always fix it by adding more sugar or you're just gonna have some dark brown sugar instead of a lighter brown sugar so you can definitely do that too it's not gonna ruin it so I have about 15 minutes before my big girls are home from school So I'm gonna go ahead and get this rinsed really quick so we can whip out a batch of chocolate chip cookies. We are gonna be cutting it close. I don't know if I can quite get this done before the girls get home, but we are surely going to try. I haven't been doing a lot of baking recently because my 
chicken eggs are overflowing over everything so excited to just go ahead and make a batch of chocolate chip cookies i tried a new recipe this time and i will link it down below for you guys the kids love them they were very good i think i noticed a or i don't think the kids noticed a difference from the regular like nestle recipe that i used but i definitely did it is a little bit different still very good though texture was great all the things the cookies were delicious especially after not having them for a while these lasted like 48 hours in our snack jars and they were completely gone so that's how you know the kids like these which means it's time to probably go ahead and make a secondary batch of these so i just went ahead and got these laid out on my pan put them in the oven and i didn't have enough room on this cookie sheet so i went ahead and just rolled them out filled up this cookie sheet and then rolled out my second batch of cookies and just set them on the counter here that way when my pan was ready to be refilled i could just go ahead and throw them in the oven really quick and that was pretty much all we did today so thank you guys so much for hanging out in the garden with me baking some cookies getting some pantry restock and getting our dishes done a lot of little things but a lot of really important things i hope wherever you are you guys are having a fantastic day and as always i will catch you guys in the next video bye